It's the end of another week. Here with the beasties. Um, and in true UK tradition, we've been hit with every kind of weather this week from those beautiful frosty mornings that we had um, that really just make your heart sing. Um, real lovely sunny days. Then we were getting sheet ice, hail, and today it's been torrential rain and fog. But this week has all been about just the day-to-day -day care of everyone, making sure that everybody comes up to the yard, gets plenty of time, you know, with us giving them a check over, making sure that they're all okay. So there hasn't been a lot of, you know, working them going on. Um, Hoyts is thankfully feeling an awful lot better with his feet. And although he missed out on his, his planned um, visitor, he's had plenty of extra attention while he's been up here on the main yard. I think he's actually itching to get back outside um, for a good, good leg stretch, as you may, may have seen him bouncing around the other day when I just walked him up and down the drive. I might let him and Jubbers go down in the orchard for a couple of days next week. Just to answer a question that somebody raised about the no-show on stable stays, we do take a 25% non-refundable deposit when we take a booking, and the balance is usually due from visitors seven days before they get here. Now, unfortunately, in this case, the payment didn't come through due to issues with um, the card provider. Um, but as I'd had lots of communication with the lady, I did make an exception to allow payment when, when she got here. Now, it is really concerning that she's gone quiet, and although it's frustrating for us having done all the preparations, thank you, Hoitzer, so charming. I really do hope that she's okay. In other news, um, you may have seen the prince has gone down with the other boys. He seems to be settling in fine. The shelter and all weather area is making such a huge difference to them and for us, and it makes the feeding and checking on them so much easier. The girls' feeding area obviously isn't quite so pleasant, but at least they do have the better draining field to go off and graze and stay out of the mud. What else has happened this week? Um, my lovely horse box, which has already cost me over 5,000 pounds this year and caused me lots more gray hairs, um, that's gone off for another service and we'll find out on Tuesday uh, whether she's passed her MOT, which I'm pretty confident that Jeff will get her through it. You know, she is a vital piece of equipment that, you know, especially in emergencies, but for day-to-day for -day use, um, you know, and getting the horses backwards and forwards to Mel's. You know, the chances are that her days are numbered, but I'm not even going to think about that yet. And I'm certainly not going to say it in her earshot, otherwise she'll be having another tantrum. Arthur, however, being brand sparkly new, he's been an absolute godsend this week and he definitely arrived at the, at the perfect time. Um, I almost feel a little bit guilty for enjoying going down to the field and feeding everyone in the rain because it, it's like pure luxury. The other wonderful thing that happened this week was we hit an incredible milestone on the 110k campaign when Lisa's GoFundMe that she ran herself to help with the campaign tipped us over the £100,000 mark, which, you know, is mind-blowing in itself. So far, we've spent just under 72,000 and I'm working on a more detailed breakdown to be able to show you exactly where all of that's gone. Hoyts is wanting leg scratches now. There's still a long way to go on their house, uh, but isn't Michael doing the most amazing job? Um, during the icy weather, he's been off making the windows and he's even filmed some of the process that he goes through to do that, which I'm gonna share with you in, in a vlog in the future, probably once the windows are, are installed. We've still got obviously the concrete pad and the paving slabs to go down, but it's unlikely that that will happen until the new year now. And of course that's really weather dependent too. Shall I turn you round so you can see a bit more of Hoitsy? There's the gorgeous boy. But you know, when I think this time last year, weather like we've been having was really dragging us down, but this winter already feels so much more manageable, you know, and as I've said before, and I will say it again, and I will never get bored of saying it, it is all thanks to all of your support. 
but I'm gonna head in now, out of the rain, out of the dark and the cold, leave these beasties, hoitsy jubbers and all the free rainers for the night. I am very relieved that we're still in the house rather than in static caravan right now. Obviously, financially, it's not ideal as we rely on renting the house out to cover the farm costs. But as we don't have another full house booking until April, aside from the new year, um, what we've done is we've moved mum in with us for now. Um, and Tamara has been working on turning her cottage into a rental too. We're actually hoping that the one bedroom cottage will bring in more last minute bookings to help cover some of the day to day expenses of the farm. But you know, that's the side of life here at Greenbank, balancing the joys and the challenges of running, you know, this beautiful historic farm, that it's something that Tamara and I are planning to share more with you um, about in the future. But again, it'll probably be in the new year. So for now, enjoy the rest of this uh, video, just a few clips from the last couple of days that I hope you enjoy. And no doubt I'll be bringing you more next week. So. Good night from me, good night from Hoitsey, and good night from Little Jubbers, who's over there. got very very icy conditions this morning and our road is sheet ice and at the bottom of the hill there is the pioneer wagon that brings our carrots and apples for us so I'm just going to go and meet him and ask him to leave them down there because he's certainly not going to get up the hill with this ice well that was a little terrifying because as it was all being unloaded the lorry started actually sliding backwards on the road oh and breathe. Anyway, carrots and apples safely arrived, so thank you to everybody who's donated them. And these guys are going to be very happy to get an apple first thing this morning. Not quite sure where Prince is. He's obviously still hiding in the back field. Hello, darling. Hello, honey. Do you want an apple? I'll get you an apple now. Here you go. One for you. Take a big bite. Well done. Oh look, there's Prince Cole. He suddenly realised that all the other boys were missing. Here he comes. Boys, be careful. Iceman, here's your apple. There we go. You're a little more gentle than Hunnis. No, Hunnis, you can't nick his apple. You've had yours. There we go. No, you've had. On for Nero. No, don't take the whole thing. Never take the whole apple in your mouth. Nero, that, honestly. There, Uber's going to eat the other half of yours now. Oh, shame. I think he's really struggling to reverse down the road now to turn round. But at least he's not on the worst bit of the hill. Which, as I said, is sheet ice. Luckily, there's a little path on the side that I can walk up. I'm pleased to say that the sun's come out. The yard is no longer icy because this was all absolutely sheet ice this morning. There's still patches where it's a little bit slippery still, but all the free rainers have been shut away in the turnout for most of the day. And we've just released you, haven't we, Hida? Yeah? So we've been making the most of, of the icy weather and Jodie's been busy doing all the exercise profiles for all the horses. I've been doing a bit of my least favourite, a bit of DIY, and also getting the feed charts done, which, you know, it's good to get all these long overdue jobs done. Oh, well, this is fun. We've got sleet now and hail. So most of the ice is gone. Lisa's gone round and gritted again because 
if it goes icy again tonight, we're going to have a yard of sheet ice again. But it is supposed to be up to 12 degrees tomorrow, so I suspect that this is going to turn to rain. But there's all the free rainers standing out in the hail. Annie on the left, Doutson, Renska, Hida, and Jubbers at the back. Would you like tea now? They are funny. They can come in and go into the stables when they're ready. But clearly they're enjoying the hail. Why he always insists on rolling right in the corner by the fence, I have no idea. But it's his favourite spot. Oh, Hoitsy. You're the driest one here, aren't you? Having had a night in. Little jubbers. You take your hat off. We came out to a big mess this morning, didn't we, Fry? Yeah. Lots of poos, lots of haylage everywhere. It's weird, the ground. It's almost sort of slushy. It's not quite icy, but obviously because there's snow up on Hampsfell. We had a little bit here last night, but it's thawed. But it's not very pleasant. So there's snow on the hills over there. And I'm actually quite glad that it's not down in the valley too. As pretty as it is, it does make life a little more challenging. You can have another roll, Hoitzer. Over by that fence now. You do like to worry me. It's always a worry when horses roll by a fence that they're going to roll right over and get their legs stuck. Was that it this morning, Heitzer? Huh? Jabba's going to come and pester you now. Just play with me, Hoyts. <laughs> I wonder why he always bites their tummy. Hoyts, I play with jubbers, don't be mean. are getting fed in here, the sheepies are getting fed down there, the girlies are waiting, but we're on our way to them next. There's the lovely Arthur, did a great job in the ice yesterday, little Uber, Nero's in the shelter with Iceman tucking into some nice dry haylage. And then we're standing on guard for Angel Eyes, who's discovered that there's somebody he can be mean to out in the field. Poor little Prince. So he was chasing little Princecle off his food. Are you done now, Prince? Are you finished? All empty. Just Honest left to go. Look, Doubtson, we've got a new member of the team. What do you think? 
bit of a statue. So, Jen, this has arrived. It's fabulous. So this is a, a garden sculpture. It's got little extra legs on it. So Frey and I are going to have fun finding somewhere for this to go. We'll perhaps wait for a better day because it is truly grim here today. So we've spent most of the afternoon in the office, haven't we, Frey? Yeah. Yeah. While everybody out here has been stood in the rain. What do you think, dear? He's a new buddy for you. Huh? Boy or girl? What do you think? Should we go see whether he'll look nice in Bessie's barn? Yeah. There we go, Jen. We've got him in Bessie's barn against that white wall and he's absolutely beautiful. He's really lovely. So we'll work out once the weather improves where we can put him, but thank you ever so much for this. Very important delivery that's just arrived. It's a top up on our bulk bought feed because a few things we run out of a little bit quicker. So we've got some Ulcer X, some Sarcoes for Hunnis. Thank you to everybody who's donated all the treats. And we've got some of the organic fusion, which is especially for Hunnis. So we're all stashed up. I think we don't need to do the next bulk order for probably another couple of weeks do you think Frey? No that will last the boys a few days for treats. It will do yeah because we we give them the treats in their in their treat ball which they have after they have their breakfast every day and they do enjoy it and actually Hoyts has been having treat balls for the last few days just helps keep him entertained a little bit while he's in the stable. Anyway we've got all the feeds down here it's nearly feed time so we're gonna go and give them all their dinner. I wake up in the morning with a smile on my face Feeling thankful for the love and the happiness we chase Sun is shining brightly, sky so blue and clear With every breath I take, I'm grateful you are near so